Hello ladies and gentlemen, Panzer here and welcome back to Overwatch. So today I want to talk about some of the discussions that have been happening regarding Overwatch's competitive seasons. Now, I know competitive isn't for everyone, and maybe a bunch of you watching don't even care about it, but nevertheless we should be aware of what's going on or what could happen with it because it could filter through to the rest of the game in future. The main thing I keep hearing though is that hero stacking or playing more than one of the same hero in competitive mode will soon no longer be allowed. It's currently being tested on Overwatch's PTR right now and it may be coming in a future patch for good. Now this is not something I believe will appear in quick play but I personally feel it's needed for competitive mode. Right now it's possible to see entire teams filled with traces of Genjis amongst other things and this leads to a worse competitive game overall. According to a forum post by Jeff Kaplan, the hero stacking has led to teams employing tactics that are detrimental to the game experience. For example, stacking very fast heroes like Trace or Genji to take the first point before the defending team can even react, or creating situations where overtime simply drags on because of teams that are stacking heroes that are simply contesting the point and not making any headway in either direction. I've even heard of professional leagues where a team has brought in an average of maybe three to four tracers at a time, which definitely makes for a very odd game. But overall, this is a bad situation for players. It leads to frustrating matches or matches that just drag on and on and are not fun or interesting to play. At the same time, for Overwatch's competitive scene, this is worse as well. Professional sporting leagues will suffer because matches like these are also not interesting to watch. I know it might seem strange if you're not interested in esports that this might be a little bit new to you, but tactics that are often seen as dirty or cheap are not interesting to watch and even worse to play against. And this happens with a lot of games with competitive leagues. So I believe that this change will make for a better competitive scene. I did however have some concerns that I thought I'd discuss anyway. When I first heard about this, I thought it might be restrictive in terms of some of the tactics that teams could employ in competitive. Some of the more interesting tactics I've seen did involve using at least two of the same hero to achieve. Now these tactics might have been interesting, but their actual usefulness is highly debatable. However, having looked at some of the league matches and how they played out, it seems like one of each hero may actually be far more effective, and indeed it seems like choosing one of each hero and synergizing their abilities seems to be the core idea that the game was designed around, so it makes far more sense to force teams to pick one of each and be very careful about their picks. At the same time, of course, switching heroes around will undoubtedly be necessary depending on the way each match goes. Uh, we understand, of course, the concept of hard counters and, of course, switching tactics up in order to adapt to your enemy. And that can make for very interesting games seeing the way that things swing around. Although we don't know at this stage how all of this is going to work, I have some concerns about how switching will be done. Particularly if someone on the team is playing a character you want to switch to, or you are playing a character they want to switch to, then one of you is going to have to switch to someone else temporarily for that to really happen. Uh, and that doesn't sound very convenient, so unless a new system is implemented that will allow, you know, sort of character swap requests where you could request to swap with somebody else, um, unless that comes in, it's really going to be very inconvenient to make that happen easily. But what do you guys think? Have you been playing competitive? Do you think one of each hero per team is the way to go? Or should it depend on the game modes or anything else like that? Let me know down in the comments below and don't forget to leave a like if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. My name is Panzer, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.